Hello everyone, I am Clover Wu. And I'm Ray. Here from 70,549 years, today we will be looking at some hot topics regarding the cell cycle and cell division. For our first report, we have reporter Timothy C. on the scene. Hello, I am Timmy here inside the human body. With me is a cell. Hello, cell. Hi, I'm Claire the cell. So what's going on with you right now? Well, I'm going through the G1 phase, also known as the gap phase. It's the first part of interphase where I grow larger, copy organelles, and make the molecular building box that I will need to use in later steps. It is driven by cyclins that bind to cyclin-dependent kinases or CDK enzymes. Growth factors are proteins that stimulate growth to define. After me is a checkpoint where I make sure I have everything to proceed. Nice to hear. Okay. And what are you? A cell. And what's happening with you? Are you also in the interphase process? Yeah, but I'm the second part of it, which is the S phase. In the S phase, I synthesize and I synthesize a complete copy of the DNA in my nucleus, which is the first phase nuclear division, making me a diploid cell. I also duplicate a microtube organizing structure called the centrosome. The S phase is also the phase of DNA synthesis. It is an essential part of the cell cycle. There is another checkpoint in the S phase too. Cool. Are you another cell? Yup, but I am in the G2 phase. As you can tell, I'm already a pretty chunky cell, but during the G2 phase, the cell grows more, almost to the size of two cells, meaning that there is higher volume and less surface area. It also makes proteins and organelles, and it begins to recognize its contents in preparation for mitosis. There's another checkpoint after this too. <laughs> nice. Wow. Powerful stuff, powerful stuff. Okay, audience, pop quiz time. What is the prophase in the cell? Is it A, an apple, B, a cookie, C, the first stage of mitosis when chromosomes condense and become visible and when the spinal fibers form with the help of centrioles and emerge from centrosomes. Nuclear envelopes also break down and centrosomes move toward opposite sides. Spinal fibers, fibers organize the chromosomes and move them during mitosis. Eat <laughs> wait. Or D, a breed of dog. I don't know. I'm leaning for A in apple because I'm hungry. <laughs> Absolutely incorrect. <laughs> it is C. Prophase is the first step of mitosis. Thanks, Ray. Time for an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I just realized that I forgot metaphase and anaphase, the second and third phases of mitosis. How can I forget what those are? Wait. I have the Chloe Wu number. With this number, you can call it any time to find out what metaphase and anaphase are, the second and third phases of mitosis. Let's try it out. Metaphase is the way chromosomes line up at metaphase plate. Each bunch of chromatids are attached to a fiber from opposing side. Anaphase is when sacramos split is two. And a sister code has chromosomes are pulled toward off the pole. This fate is triggered by the activation of the protest vertex. The law of independence form and states that the alleles are completely depending which by they go. The cell begins to inoculate because the signal fiber spread. If the chromosomes don't separate equally, non destruction occurs in daughter cells that we are chromosome number. Wow. Thank you so much, Chloe. So don't forget to call the number below anytime you want to contact Chloe Wu and find out what metaphase and anaphase are. Wow. Wow. Yep, luckily we already know the fourth and last stage of mitosis, which is telophase. This is when chromosomes arrive at opposite poles and begin to <laughs> decondense nuclear envelopes around each set of chromosomes, completing nuclear division. My Spindle breaks down, spindle fibers continue to break apart. This is when cells start to separate into two new cells, which is called binary fission. That's right, Chloe. <laughs> now let's hear for a report again, Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy here with our cytokinesis expert, Ryan. 
Ryan, what is cytokinesis? Well, because I'm an expert, I guess I'll tell you. So basically, cytokinesis is a phase when the cell divides into two daughter cells. For animals, a cleavage furrow arises at the site of indentation. For plants, a cell plate forms at the site of the cell wall between the two new cells. But the thing is that if this happens too many times and too rapidly, you can get cancer. Wow, I'm glad you're an expert on that. I know, I'm quite the expert on it. But I've actually heard something too, that you're an expert in something, the G0 phase. What's that? The G0 phase is a resting phase where most cells spend most of their time in this phase either at rest or performing assigned duties. The cells do not divide at this point and do not pass the G1 phase, phase and may not be able to return to the phase. When cells are differentiated, differentiated and contain specialized genes, they no longer go through mitosis. That's phenomenal. Yep, this stuff about cell division and mitosis is pretty cool. But wait, what is the difference between mitosis and meiosis? Difference? Oh, you know what? I'm not so sure. But I do know someone that can help us with that. Let's send it to Claire Thomas. All right, Claire, let's hear it. So we've already learned about mitosis, which results in somatic cells, which are any cells in living organisms other than reproductive cells. Whereas mitosis produces gametes, which are reproductive cells such as sperm and eggs. Mitosis only goes through cell division once. That's prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Whereas meiosis goes through this process twice. In meiosis, we have prophase one, in which chromosomes match up with homologous chromosomes, or homologous pairs of chromosomes. They're approximately the same size and same type of chromosome. We have one from the mom and one from the dad. They transfer information, which is called crossing over. Then in metaphase one, these chromosome pairs line up along the center of the cell. In anaphase one, these chromosomes are pulled apart rather than the chromatids being pulled apart in mitosis. In telophase one, we see chromosomes condensed to form nuclei and the process then repeats itself, resulting in four non-identical cells, which are the gametes. Males produce sperm and females produce eggs. They are called haploids because they have half the amount of chromosomes as the original cell, so that when they come into contact with the opposite gamete, they have 46 chromosomes total. Oh, okay, so basically to summarize, both mitosis and meiosis are involved with making new cells, and they both start with the diploid, you know, like duplicated chromosomes from interphase, and they also all both have the stages, you know, the PMAT, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, mm -hmm. and telophase, and they both basically just do like, cyto like cytokinesis, right? Yeah, that's right. That's it? Yep. Awesome. Alright, let's send it back to Ray and Chloe in the studio. Ah! <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Chloe Wu. I'm Ray. Thank you for tuning in to our mitosis report by Timmy Zinussi and Claire Thomas. And last but not least, Ryan Marquez. Woo! Yeah! Thank you. <laughs>